I think this is deeply inspiring. I think this event is basically unprecedented in the history of humanity, right? There's a, this is a global scale movement. NCAR oceanographer Matt Long says he was impressed with this student action, saying it has been difficult for climate voices to be heard under loud political thunder. Over the past year or so, though, I've grown more optimistic, and I think the climate strike today is really indicative of a sea change um, across society globally. We are getting to the point where we recognize that we have to do something about it. Long says the climate change debate is over in the scientific community. He says the human influence is far greater than most people realize. So we have very precise measurements of the accumulation of CO2 in the atmosphere. And we know from fundamental physics that increasing CO2 in the atmosphere traps additional heat. Specifically, examples of how the Earth's climate system is changing. Teachers like Tim Barnes are always available at NCAR's Mesa Lab to explain the science behind climate change. Facts and data in the exhibit halls feed curious minds. And then they can decide for themselves where they fit into that and where their values point in this exhibit. Hey, hey. These students have made a commitment to bettering the future, but they say they need the help of our nation's leadership. We have about a decade now where we have an opportunity to really turn the ship around and, and make a big impact on the future. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News. Of course, the focus of today's protests were about reducing the use of fossil fuels, trying to halt climate change. Researchers saying that humans have increased atmospheric CO2 concentration by more than a third just since the Industrial Revolution.